George Kaysen. I'm going to be doing a review today of The Big Short, a, a, a 2015 movie about the 2007-2008 financial collapse and what led to it. This movie relates Dr. Burry, who was a financial analyst and investor who saw coming the financial collapse in 2008, maybe a year or two before. And what he did is he invested a million dollars. Uh, he bet some Wall Street kind of stuff. He bet that this collapse was imminent. And this movie gets into all the different particulars of the different, different players that um, led to, you know, that he was dealing with. Christian Bale plays Michael Burry. Uh, he, you know, he, he realized there was going to be a, a, a housing market collapse. And then Stephen Carell, Mark Baum was the uh, leader of, of Front Point Patterns. A uh, small independent trading firm, and Baum uh, was in constant disgust with the American banks, with the games they're playing. Basically, there were so many subprime loans. The banks were loaning, lending people to people who were very credit unworthy, or you know, borderline people with very low low FICO store scores that were, you know, the. The banks just went crazy with these um, loans that were like, that had balloon payments, you know, at the end. And as the housing market started to collapse, it was like a snowball. Everything went south because uh, just ended up horribly. Ryan Gosling, uh, he played Jared Bennett, salesman from Deutsche Bank, who decides to sell Burry's credit default swaps for, for, for his own profit. And then Brad Pitt plays Ben Rickert, a retired former trader who helps these other two guys, Jamie and Charlie, with their trades. And they're also betting that this is gonna this is gonna collapse, right? And then John Magano as Charlie Geller, one of half of the Brownfield Fund, who discovers Bennett's prospectus and also decide to short the housing market. And then, and then there's all these other, other players. Now, basically, I don't understand all, I mean, I try to understand all these different Wall, you know, Wall Street banks and, and investment firms to try to understand how this whole thing transpired. But the gist of it is that they were, as I said, they were giving loans to people who really shouldn't have gotten it. But it was just, there was a frenzy. And then what happened is that the insure, insuring these loans took on a, a, a life of its own. And, um, and, and basically that, uh, the insurance companies were also involved with this, right? It was just a, a, a frenzy of profits and uh, just hor horrible. And, and at the end of this, 8,000, 8 million people lost their homes. 6 million people lost their jobs. And as we all know, that was, you know, I mean, I had problems with jobs too, you know, because they were cutting back. So, um, you know, my employer was cutting back because of what was happening. So as this transpires, the, this key star played by Christian Bale, and I didn't recognize many, many of these stars because they were just depicted differently, you know, maybe special effects or whatever. Um, Christian Bale, not that I knew him, they, they, they made him look different, you know. And he's the key player here uh, and and then everything pretty much works around him and a lot of these other uh, the people he's investing for you know these investors in his firm 
they're very angry at him because they, they don't see what's coming, you know? Basically, what's they think that he's going to lose them a lot of money, right? And uh, so they're trying to get him to, 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 to sell, to sell, to sell, to sell. And he won't do it because he really believes, even though at times he sort of doubts himself, but in the end, he, he feels this is going to happen. And eventually, this is his predictions were right. And, uh, you know, crazy. Like, I remember the 2001 tech bust. I had this gut feeling that something was gonna, gonna, is going to go south. So I sold all Nokia and all my other tech stocks that I had right before the fall. I mean, I must have had six cents, right? And, and uh, I met my tax person. She told me that I'm the only person that year who made money in the stock market. So, you know, and, and then in 2007, I, I, my investment firm did not alert me and I lost a lot of money in, the, in this. So I'm, I'm, this is part of something I experienced, you know, when, when, those, when the, the market went, went south. So, so getting back to Dr. Burry, you know, played by Christian Bale. He's an eccentric kind of guy, you know. He's not your typical Wall Street kind of guy. He walks around without shoes, not in a suit with a T-shirt and a pair of shorts, you know. But he, he has this board, you know, up where he's figuring everything. He's a, he's a math person, right? And he's figuring... He just, at the end, he puts 148% or something like that. And, and that's basically one of his investors uh, had put in a million dollars and, and, you know, made $148 million. So, so uh, the machinations of Wall Street, the games that are played, and then the CDOs that was, that was the, you know, based on these bad loans, right? Just recently, they've got a new name for it, right? And uh, they're pulling the same garbage again. So, so uh, it's it's the whole hungry for profits, hungry to make more money. Everything on Wall Street is based on profit, 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 profit. And as we well know, a lot of the corporations really <laughs> don't really care about their consumers. They can, they're concerned about the bottom line profit profit margins. So something gets lost, you know, because of their focus on profit alone, right? And that's what happened here and uh, created major, major issues. The movie is based on a 2010 book, uh, basically, that was uh, about the, the financial collapse, right? And uh, it was published in 2015. The scenes are good. It shows, you know, that a lot of the offices, that's very real, Wall Street offices. And, uh, you know, yeah, the setting is good. The acting is very good. All the actors, Brad Pitt plays the role so good that I don't even know it was him. And then uh, Ryan Gosling and, and uh, Christian Bale, who I've seen in other movies that we've reviewed with Jay that uh, look, he looks very different here in this movie. He's a very, you know, he's, he's very casual, as I said, casual, you know, not dressed up at all, sort of an oddball, you know, on Wall Street. And, uh, and the, the, you know, the whole plot about being the collapse, the 27, 2007, 2008 collapse uh, of, 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 uh, of the world financial. And this led also, not only the United States, Europe, it was a worldwide financial collapse because it just snowballed. Once the, the situation here, Wall Street, you know, stock market financial collapse, it went to Hungary, Europe, uh, Middle East, uh, Asia, everywhere. So this, this sort of led to, now one of the things that I'll get into the bigger picture, right? As I alluded to a little bit. We need to put more 
controls on our financial institutions so that they're precluded from doing this kind of stuff that leads to, as I said, millions of people losing their jobs and their, and their homes. We've got to be a little more uh, firm with these because capitalism only works when you have controls. Because if you let it just go wild, as Donald Trump will probably want to do, you know, if he gets back in, then it leads to abuses. And those abuses lead to this, this similar to what the financial collapses. And since some of these institutions now, as I said, are, are already playing these games again, it could lead to another financial collapse. So the, we need those controls. And our government has to be very astute to, to rein them in, you know, with laws so that we don't end up doing, having this kind of stuff again. So it, it, this is the, the big picture of where, what this led to. Very, and getting back to what Jay and I have discussed before, this coming election is, is really, really, really critical because if Donald Trump wins again, and he's not your typical Republican, right? He's, he's like a lone wolf. He does his own thing, right? We're going to be in trouble again. I mean, I can see him reducing controls, which, which could lead to another financial collapse. And, and if you have a shaky market here, it just goes everywhere over the, around the world, right? So, um, so I would suggest, I, I think this movie is very good. I think it's, it's, it's definitely a 10. And I liked it. And uh, it really brought to light the problems that could happen if Wall Street players are not kept in line. So movie 10, good act. Good acting by these famous, uh, you know, actors and uh, actresses. Uh, good uh, s scenes, you know, in the offices and whatever. And uh, just definitely a, a 10 because it brings to light a very, very serious issue that could happen again. Mm -hmm.